Hello everybody, welcome to part 2.5 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum walkthrough. So if you have requested this video, this is pretty much just all of the different attack combinations. So we're going to start with Max. You can just do the simple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by just kind of going up there and hitting X. So start attacking an enemy while moving the analog stick forward. And you'll do this kind of smack attack right here, which can pretty much knock the enemy up and down, just as you've seen. Something that you can also do, after you do the three, you can quickly press R1 to block your attack, to cancel the animation, and then start attacking again slightly quicker. Alright, so with this enemy, I'm going to move my analog stick towards him and double press the X button. And that'll kind of do that swing attack, which can help you attack flying enemies with your wrench. So all I'm doing is moving the analog stick towards him and double tapping X kind of quickly. You see, I don't get it every single time, but this right here is kind of how you do it. Just move your analog stick towards the enemy and double tap X, and you should be able to get this attack. You do need to be some sort of distance from the enemy. Once you get the feel for this, it'll become easier. And finally is the charge attack. Okay, well that was a bad example, because it did low damage, but it's normally supposed to do higher damage, like, like that right there. Alright, so we're going to use Monica. She's basically the same. She has her standard X attack, and she has her 1, 2, and 3, by just moving the left analog stick forward while you're doing the attack. Alright, so as you saw with Max, if you lock onto an enemy and kind of move towards it with the left analog stick, and double press X, super quickly you can kind of do that dive attack I find it harder to do this attack on ground enemies it's mainly good for flying enemies when fighting certain enemies I just kind of like to do one one or two or three hits and then quickly guard to cancel the animation so that I can then do a full combo again quickly. This is good against enemies, for example, who you can daze, or who take like one or two, three hits to daze. So this enemy right here does not daze in one attack, so you might want to do two, at two attacks, and then you can get your daze on them, and then if you do R1 to cancel the animation, you can then do your full combo without needing to worry about it breaking out of its daze, and then you can do a full combo on it easily to maybe take the enemy out at that point. That's kind of why I like to do this, anim this animation cancel sometimes. So, this is kind of an action game if you play it a certain way, but it's really just uh, move the analog stick towards the enemy to get all forms of the attack. This enemy is kind of a flying enemy, so he's a good one to do this dive attack at. You can also wait for them to come down to you. And then once he does his attack, you can do the charge attack to daze him. And then you can attack them. So hopefully this answered any questions. So if there's anything else, please leave a comment down below. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.